horror asymmetrical multiplayer games have become popularized by games like Dead by Daylight launched in 2016 and Friday the 13th in 2017. Since then, DBD has become the supreme king in the genre, boasting thousands of players on a daily basis with its 1v4 format and constant acquisition of killers from different franchises. Friday the 13th the game ended its DLC cycles earlier due to legal reasons. However, the game still lives and there's an active community of players that keeps going back for daily Fridays with its 1v7 format. Other games such as Predator Hunting Grounds also have a 1v4 format, however its life cycle has also reached its end. There are several other games in the asymmetrical genre, however we will be focusing specifically on games based in horror movie franchises. This year, our consoles and PCs have been graced with Evil Dead the Game, another 1v4 asymmetrical game based in a horror franchise where one player plays as the Kandarian Demon and the other four as survivors. Whilst the game quickly became popularized and several players from Dead by Daylight started playing Evil Dead the Game, in a matter of months, the biggest complaint these games normally suffer from but will it ever be fixed? The issue with these games is balance. It's a difficult thing to do when one team has four players and the other has only one. The solar player has to be stronger than at least two or three of the other players together so that it can have a chance at winning matches. Still, this is a balance that can eventually be achieved and it can either make a game or break it. Posts on Reddit and Discord communities become flooded with complaints of frustrated players that either don't understand the game mechanics yet or are simply tired of the same old formula these games have. Toxicity is a problem which has been heavily associated with DBD and unfortunately has been permeating the surface of Evil Dead the game. One of the questions I ask myself is, is a 1v4 format the best format for games as such? And is it easier to balance than if the teams were more even in terms of numbers? These are questions that the developers from Gun have asked themselves after Friday the 13th the game and they have made a decision of changing their formula for the next game, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. In it, the format is 3v4, in where 4 players play as survivors and the other 3 as killers. The survivors take form of young adults that have been imprisoned by the cannibal family, which includes Leatherface. Each survivor will have their own special abilities and each family member will have their own playstyle. A recent preview from IGN shows the gameplay in more detail and I will link that in the description below. Although the game is set for release in 2023, it is already in a playable state and I must say it looks fantastic. In all previous games we discussed, survivors have to work together to either fix generators, find car keys, do points or call the police. Whilst in this game survivors will still have to work together, the fact that the killer players will have to do the same in order to win matches completely changes the balance of horror asymmetrical games. Another game that is coming out in 2023 and it has a 3v7 format is Killer Clowns of Outer Space. That is the largest amount of players I've seen in a horror asymmetrical game, but please correct me if I'm wrong. They're also betting that having more killers to work together will help to deal with balance issues. Both clown and survivor players will have their own classes and abilities to differentiate playstyle. There's a trailer out already, but we're still to see some gameplay. The change in the number of killers could not only address the balance issues these games have, but also toxicity. Toxicity can destroy a community. One of the reasons Dead by Daylight is still here is by the constant release of new DLCs with new characters and killers such as Michael Myers, Ghostface and and even Leatherface. The latest one, Wesker, brings in the feel of Resident Evil into the game. It's a brilliant way to keep old players interested and bring in players from other franchises. Unfortunately, the toxicity in that game is something that some people can't deal with, myself included. The issue of balance in asymmetrical games has been here for almost a decade already. I wonder if the genre is at a turning point where toxicity will diminish to a level that won't be perceived by most, and if complaints about balance between killers and survivors will also be reduced. Multiplayer games always have bugs, exploits, matchmaking issues and balance issues in their first few months. However, once most of these get ironed out, what we're left with is the issue of balance between the solo killer and survivors. That might be about to change soon and I can't wait to see if that happens. We'll be covering news, updates and gameplay of both Texas Chainsaw Massacre game and Killer Clowns until they release and after. We'll also continue to explore the content of Evil Dead the game, which I'm a fan of. If you watched this video until now, please drop a like and consider subscribing for more content. I will see you all next time.